and welcome back to the Crazy Science Lab. My name is Dr. Istion and joining me today here is Dr. Daisy. So for this experiment, you will need only a balloon and a running tap. Yes, Dr. Daisy, that is all we will need. Doesn't that sound super simple? Okay, so first things first, let's blow up the balloon. Let's tie the balloon. And you will also need something to rub the balloon against to create static electricity. It could be your hair, a towel, or even a fuzzy stuffed animal. Come with me and let's go see how the static electricity of the balloon affects water. You stay here, Dr. Daisy. Bye bye. Okay, so here I have a tap. Now let's get the water running very slowly. Just open it a little bit so you don't waste water. Now let's rub the balloon against our towel. And watch. Look at that. Whoa. Now you might be wondering why this balloon bended the water so much. Well that's because it's loaded with static electricity every time we rub it with something hairy or fluffy. Now static electricity is one of the only types of electricities that can actually influence solids and liquids. And that is why it's one of my favorite things to do to rub a balloon on something fluffy and then just play with the water and the hair. Let's see if we can lift up Daisy's hair with the static electricity. Whoa! You can come take a closer look. Whoa! You can try this experiment with all different types of things. You can try different types of fluffy things to rub against the balloon, you can try different shapes of balloons, and you can even try pouring some soda into a glass while holding the static electricity balloon right next to it. And for this experiment, it might be best to put a cup under the tap, so you don't waste a lot of water. Thank you Dr. Daisy for helping me today, and thank you for watching. I hope you had fun, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye! Say bye-bye, Dr. Daisy. Bye-bye!